hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is teacher brett and i'm here to share with you all things virtual teaching whether you teach kids all the way over across the other side of the world or right here in your own backyard let's get started <laughs> a little bit different here on my YouTube channel and that's because today I want to share with you why you should be using Manicam if you are teaching in a virtual environment. I will tell you I was very hesitant to jump on the Manicam bandwagon when I saw a lot of our online ESL teachers using it but when I jumped over to teaching in an actual virtual public K-12 school I decided to give it a shot and it has been amazing uh, I will never go back I love Manicam and I want to tell you exactly why you should be using Manicam especially for those of you that are jumping into virtual teaching trying to teach classrooms full of students um, live you know this is great <laughs> there's a couple of reasons why you want to be using this number one you can keep the kids engaged a lot better all right so our kids are used to a lot of visual stuff coming at them um, using Manicam is going to allow you to do a lot of things that's going to keep their attention visually so as you'll notice here I've got my background you can set your background to whatever you want let me show you that here mm -hmm. I teach gym class um, so during gym class So when I'm in gym class, I've got a gym. <laughs> really easy to switch your background. If you see anything about like room transformations, I see a lot of times on social media, people talking about these amazing classroom transformations. This is your classroom transformation. You can transform yourself anywhere. Um, sometimes I let the kids as a reward pick, like where are we gonna be today? Oh, we wanna be underwater. Then I'll change us to underwater. Not only can you add a background and make it fun for the students, you can also add props. These are really fun and really engaging. So this week we were reading The Lemonade War in one of my classes and in The Lemonade War out comes a police officer. So I was able to quickly go into Manicam as we're talking and throw on my police hat. The kids were like, oh my gosh, police hat. <laughs> it's something really simple, but it was something that caught their attention. When we are just sitting in front of the camera and talking, la, 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 it can get boring really fast. So throwing some of these visual things at them, props that you may come around um, are really fun. There's a whole lot of props that are included in Manicam that are great, um, but you can also add anything you want. You can add any picture you could find off the internet. You could throw that into uh, Manicam and use that there. Um, some of the fun ones that I like to do. The other thing I really like is that you can show videos without them having to click on a link and go somewhere else. So if I wanted to show a quick video here in the classroom, I could just switch my video camera over to another screen. I want to be the one to tell you right tips. There. So I could play the video right from my screen. They don't have to click on another link. I don't have to wait for them to say, yeah, okay, I went and watched the video. I can play it, embed it right within my video camera, which makes it really awesome. Aside from all the great things it can do for, or in your classroom with the students, it's also really great because it's gonna simplify your life. So behind me is a mess of a situation, okay? I've got laundry, I've got my closets, I've got piles of papers around. The kids have no idea because I have this background and all you need is just a simple green sheet. I just went and got a green piece of fabric from Walmart, um, anything that you could just put up to block it out. So I've got that hanging there, which blocks out my entire background, which is awesome. And 
and it saves me from having to go out and buy a bunch of props that I might be using. If I want to show the student an example of something, I can just pull up a quick picture. I don't have to be like, oh, we're talking about octopuses. I need to print out an octopus so that I can show it, or I need to go buy a stuffed octopus so I can show it. No, I can just quickly head over to my Manicam and grab an octopus. It's really simple. Boom octopus. <laughs> so it's really easy to do um, and it's going to save some money and some time for you as well. So I highly recommend you get Manicam. Um, there is a free version, but with the free version, you're going to have um, like a watermark and you can't use all the features. I would go ahead and purchase the just lifetime. It's not that expensive um, to do the lifetime purchase. And then you've got Manicam for good. It's a small investment, but it will pay off for you in the end. Um, I'm going to get another video out for you kind of walking you through all the features of Manicam so that you know how to use it in your classroom, but I hope this was helpful to give you kind of an idea of how you could use Manicam in a virtual classroom and the benefits it's going to give you to keep the students engaged, simplify your life, um, and make your class a lot more entertaining. I hope this helped you guys. Come back and visit me again. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that so that you get everything you need to do so that you can get your virtual teach on. Talk to you guys next time. Bye!